uh, Daisy experience Quid has. Ling Ling does come around every now and then, but I don't know they're like, I don't know how Quid does against Ling Ling. So, game one. Game one. Um, I mean, like, based on what I've seen, like, Blank do, it's like, you know, just like being the interactive peach that he is. Um, I could see, like, I could see Quid just, like, kind of running away with this, because, like, yeah, like, Peach gets a bajillion damage when she gets a hit in, and she ledge traps like no one else does. And, uh, Pokemon Trainer is quite susceptible to ledge traps, but, like, PT also gets, like, a bajillion damage off of a hit. Like, PT strings are, like, one of the best in the game. Whether you're Ivy or, uh, Squirtle, or if you're just Charizard, you're just gonna kill. I also love how, like, Blank uses these F smashes. My guy threw the bomb. He said, I don't need that. Oh my god. I swear, why? Why is Peach RNG always, like, super good for no reason? Bomb should be removed from Peach's rule set. Ditch is fine, Saturn is fine, but Bomb is, like, Bomb takes it a little too far. Or the Bob Bomb, rather. That's like two? That's two in two separate sets, I think. And I think he's gotten two stitches as well. And only. He has gotten two Saturns as well. Right now we have an even game, though. Great, like, great evasion on that turn up. Blank is not letting the pressure up, even even when he has like no stage control. He doesn't care. Wow, he actually made it back to stage. I'm quite surprised. He's gonna go for down no up throw. Hipper side beat? I mean F tilt? Boop, 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 three! Not one, not two, three. Back throw, back air, no tipper. Chase him though. That wasn't Tipper, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> Could've just... <laughs> Quid is gonna try to get something off, but like... He hasn't gotten that much off yet. And that can be... Not a big... I... I oh, what? that's still not true! What the heck? I don't know if that's an execution. I don't I don't think that's an execution. I think... I think that's just too much rage and too much floaty. Bit of a... Overzealous side B right there. I, I do like that play breath more, but... I kind of want to see a little bit more. It's like, he missed a lot of damage with all three of those back throws. I mean, like, he couldn't have gotten, like, you know, down throw fair. Because, like, that's not a thing. But, uh, oh my god, I feel so much clearer. But, um, like, he could have had such a, such a bigger lead right now if he just got more off his hit. But, who cares? Wow, that actually didn't kill. The nerfs from a while ago hurting. Uh, actually, Blank is uh, poised to take the game, but the fair not gonna be enough. The turn up not gonna be enough. So I'm barely gonna make it back, and now uh, Blank, Blank kind of gotta hold his breath. Back throw. Back throw is gonna take game one, and uh, that was quite the. Quite the set, or not, not even the set. That was quite the game. Um, we are gonna go back to PS2. Um, Jesus Christ, that was intense to put it into a word. Although, Plank is a very like mentally poised kid, character, uh, player from what I've seen. With his set against Nelvin. Anyways, game two. Um, I was a little bit closer than I think Quid wanted it to be because he had like he had like a fair bit of opportunities to like get more, like grow more of the lead. So, like the fact that Blake was that close, like that's that's. Big for Blank. 
Because, like, that just means, like, you were one act, you were one interaction off. One interaction off of the lineage. Nice punish on the down smash. The, what's it called? The frame trap on that down throw. Actually gonna Vine Whip early and then Vine Whip again. They're actually not gonna be safe in fourth throw. Still not gonna take it. Um, great, great ledge option to pack here. Quick starting to reposition himself. Um, yeah, he's starting to get into, <laughs> starting to get you know, Wow, that down smash actually not gonna connect. I'm not even gonna hit the shield. That's that could be big. For, that can be big for Black right now. Because the more damage he gets. Wow, he actually jumped from that vinyl. Classic, classic milk. Yeah. Quinn not gonna stand on Zark forever. But uh he will need to swap eventually. Fair bit of uppers from what's his name? Squirtle. Down throw fair. He usually goes for up B. I don't know why he didn't up for it. That's a that's a pretty safe place to swap. That's always a safe place to swap. Calling the di catching the DI in and the jump. Blank. Running. Running this game right now. F till I don't know. I don't know why he went for that. So no punish on the grab. Quid's starting to let these, these interactions slip away from him. No, fair. Nice patience from Blank. Just gonna react to what Quid wants him to do. Another excellent patience right there. Great conversion for Quid right there. Just using grounded up like that. Because, like, Ariel, Ariel wouldn't have connected. And upper. He might have been too far away from up there, so like he just ran up an upbeat. And grounded upbeat actually it is actually like fairly stronger than uh Ariel. But right now Blank is just gaining such an advantage. Oh no, that's big. Quinn can still definitely do this. He has he has definitely definitely uh managed to what the hell was that? He has managed to like make comebacks, like super duper, super duper. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Like, he hasn't made like really ridiculous comebacks, but what the hell was that vine whip? What the hell was that vine whip? We're gonna go to Smashville this time. Um. Okay. Um, hmm, I don't know. I wonder how this will work out for both these players. Cause like, Blake is just like very interactive and like, what's it called? Like he he pressures really well with Daisy. So like, having less room to like get away from and like play neutral. That's like that's huge. That's pretty big. Wow. He's also getting like so much off of these turn ups off stage. Quid's gonna take a deep breath right there and uh, try to reset himself, but. No punish on the up air. But, gonna punish the beefy up B. Wow, that's getting two frames. Quite surprised. Ooh, it worked, it worked, it worked. That's all that matters. That poked as well. That Razor Leaf definitely could have killed him. Blank starting to get a bit, uh... bit, uh, button happy. Great patience on the ledge. As ever. Down to a fair gonna deal. 20 plus percent. And they're just perfectly placed turn up. And the Trump blew with it. That does two frame. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get to now. Quinn is starting to turn up the pressure a lot. 
barely gonna miss the final up. No. Down throw fair. The action on the tether cancel from Blank. He's gonna get him in up air. Dare fair actually not gonna connect. That's uh, usually not how it happens. A cheeky little hit. Blank and now. Up smash not gonna take. Not even gonna hit. Alright. Alright. It's time. Another up air. Blank. Nair. Next reaction. Gonna go for fair. Another fair though. Back air. The late bomber gonna somehow hit the, the grounded plant. Ooh, bit of a weird counter. I love that fair. That was a really nice fair. Like, he, he like, frame cancelled it. The first edge guard of the set. Interesting. No. No, he edge guarded him game one. But like, that was a that was the first edge guard in a while. And honestly, like, like while Quid has mixed up his recovery, and like Blank is, uh, what's it called? Blank is like reacting to it. I feel like Quid needs to. Keep up the flank recovery as well. 164. I do like the no up to Zard, but back to gonna take game three. And now, Blank is one game away from getting his run back with Nelvin. With that being said, you gotta take him on one more game. But Quid also has to take two, so. We're gonna go straight back to uh, PS2. I thought Miku was calling me for a second, my bad. Alright. Game four. Go. One more game and uh one can take it already off the bat. Quid Just putting the pressure up. Jesus Christ. This I feel like this is a different quid. Like this this feels very similar to like uh like the game three he just played. And like that quid, like I don't know. I feel like he's starting to lose his footing right now. Like, ooh, wow. Like he's still, like he's not missing punishes, and like he's not, ooh, he's not like getting tilted. But it's like he's. I just feel like he's playing neutral correctly, or like the way he usually does. Like it feels very different. He ran into it. He went directly up. He wouldn't have even made it. He ran into the turn up. I, that was his first lead since like game two, game three, or I mean game one. Definitely didn't have one game three. But uh, counter gonna send him so far, but only deal two percent. SD from Quid. This is where this is where good players are separated from great. If you've got that mental, if you've got that focus, if you can turn up the pressure, if you can just focus and just like reach that like I don't know, that like feeling. Oh my god, he has a stitch. And he drops it. But like this is where this is where you need to make the comeback. This is where you need to make the game. Go grab the I, <laughs> grab the thing with there. Get the sweet spot on Vine Whip. Punish the bomber. Throw the Daisy off. I'm gonna nair him and quid. Another edge guard. And uh, if he can keep up this survivability, like barring SD, if he can keep that up. He can, he can definitely do this. It's like, he lived to, like, 160. And, like, he's he's been able to, like, dodge the... Dodge his kill setups. But, like, he's still very much naked. Blank can very much take this. Like, each percent he tacks on, the, the higher the likelihood. Oh, that was such a good fair. Oh. Oh, 
so many trades from blank, so many turnips from quid. I mean, blank 192. Oh my god, the pressure. F tilt 52. This is this is the uh, Zard stupid kill percent. This is Zard. Oh, that's, that's gonna be it. Yeah, forward throw is gonna take it, and blank is gonna move on. Grand finals, loser side.